Before we get started, I just want to let everyone know that our merch is still available over at tpd.tv. You've got three days left to get some, and then it's never going to be available ever again. We've got t-shirts, we've got hoodies, and we've just added a brand new Leeds Festival Piccadilly box logo t-shirt that you are only going to be able to get for the next couple of days. So thanks so much for the support. We really love it. Support the channel and get something in return. Ladies and gentlemen, hello. It is Wednesday, the 20 something of July. We've just spent two consecutive nights in a nightclub for the first time in 16 months. My neck's killing. I'm absolutely shattered. I just want to relax. We're off to Latitude Festival today. Never been to Latitude Festival. It's never even been on our radar. It's not our usual vibe, to be honest, but I think it might be exactly what we need. Nice, relaxing, chill. I'm just like really chilled. I'm already chilled out. It's going to be a chill weekend, isn't it? First things first, I need some petrol. Oh, Cheers, mate. Sorry. Thanks. Much like before, a download. You have to do a test to get in. It's a smart way of doing things. Lateral flow test, you upload your results to a portal and that lasts for 72 hours. So halfway through the festival, because it's a full five day event, we're gonna have to do another one. But we got a nice big box, they're free from a pharmacy, simple to do, big up NHS and that. Sheesh. Fun fact, after having the clear for six years maybe, However long. This is the longest drive it's ever done. Four and a half hours. Good drive. <sighs> Acceptable. So bad news. Seem to have arrived a day early in up until tomorrow. Which means we can't get our wristband till tomorrow. Which isn't great news. <laughs> it's not a good start. We've got our COVID wristband and we're all checked in and safe. Just saying to Rob, you know what's aged very well is a message I sent this morning with a print screen of the guest saying that it doesn't open till tomorrow. There's me, and oh, should we just see it's the funny man's response there? <laughs> there it is. What did, it, what did it say? If I was you, I'd be incredibly worried. I said on the email Wednesday... <laughs> I just drove for four hours down to fucking... Where are we? Suffolk? Festival sighting open, so do I fancy driving some more? I'd love to. Cheers, mate. Right, where are we going here? Just don't know. You okay, Raz? Nothing bad. You've done a great job today, man. You've earned your two orange juices and one apple juice. Well, we we're, we're drove to Norwich. And we're in a hotel, which is absolutely wonderful so far. The service has been incredible. It's called the Bravado Hotel. We've got a Nando's on the way. Such unnecessary fucking conjecture and bollocks. No temperature is a perfect temperature. We understand that. <laughs> to adjust the heating, please use the thermostatic knob on the radiator to adjust the temperature. If you need to be told that, and God help you, but just say the, the radio has a built-in thermostat. Use this accordingly. Shut up. Oh, have a good night, old oh, friend. Right then. Good morning. Let's try that one again, shall we? Today we're off to Latitude Festival. We've never been before. It should be quite good. And it's going to be really good today because luckily we booked a hotel last night in preparation weeks ago just so that we'd have a really comfortable first day. Me and Raz have had minimal sleep. Yeah? Because you were the first to fall asleep. You... No, me and Raz were fake snoring in an attempt <laughs> to have a better sleep. Treat yourself. <laughs> Right, we've tried the third, we've tried blue gate, tried red gate, as the document says. Turns out it's yellow gate, not mentioned anywhere in document. None of this is taken for granted. But we want to give you the most honest experience. Your experience won't be like this, because you buy a ticket. <laughs> the point of a game and say, you buy a ticket. We've there. got it, we've got the wristband. <laughs> Is that how you know when you're a real one, boss? What? Like us three. What? They go, oh, just head down into that campsite if you want to set up. 
I was like, no, we want to camp in standard camping. <laughs> like, I've never had anyone say that before. <laughs> With the peasants. <laughs> Indeed, you know. Right, so admittedly, it's been a bit inconvenient so far. Mostly because of us. But look at this for convenience. I'm going to walk now from the car to the tent on a time lapse. Check this out. Convenient, that, isn't it? What? Second trip to the car. Nice and easy. It is blisteringly warm here. And you'll be pleased to know the burnos are soothed. I put on some uh, SPF 50, whatever it's called this morning. So we're all safe. It's all good, man. The dark fruits are there. Only crate I've brought, actually. So thanks, Chris, for lending me 150 quid for the weekend so I can afford to drink. I'm very poor at the minute. Have you seen the Patreon link in the description, guys? I reckon I know the best thing about us camping, like near the car and like near the fence. What? You're on a piss. Is that? I'm Rob's tent, you mean, yeah? Whoa, 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 it's expensive, that bad boy. It's also the last festival it's coming to. Why? It's incredibly obnoxious. These are great. Buy one of these pumps. It saved me a load of energy. Oh, thank you, Daddy. Rub it all in. Fool me once, shame on you. <laughs> Fool me twice, shame on us. Yeah, we get it. Fool me three times. Uh, I'm not about to be fooled the seventh time. Maybe it was time, four yeah. times. <laughs> Buy some three of that here. Jeez. You're not worried about them expensive real ray bands you just dropped up for? Don't tell them. Mine are real and I just dropped them for. <laughs> Actually, we're here now, sun's out, and it could always be much, much worse with Danny and Jake here. <laughs> so, count your blessings, boys, while you've got them. Turns out, the gaff opens at like 5 p.m. and there's DJs on till 3 in the morning. And if in those eight hours I hear one single, some 41 song, then I'm gonna burn this place to the ground, all right? Let's go to the co-op. Co-op looks fucking sick, man. Oh, look at the flower wall. It looks Perfect. excellent. Nice oh. This is great, man. I've always loved Lightitude. Is that Dua Lipa? How about this co-op, Eras? The co-op is excellent at festivals. And I'm not just saying that because I live above one. It's more glamorous than it sounds. Yeah. Cheers for Can Raz, appreciate it. Right, Mine's here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've been here for about an hour and a half. We've had a wander around. It's been enjoyable. And now we're gonna have our first sit down after two nights out at Leadmill and world's most cardboard bed in Norwich. Pleased to say oh. that we've arrived. Yeah. Now let's make sure everyone camp near us loves the Death Magnetic album <laughs> by Metallica. Where's the speaker? Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. I'm on a few words. <laughs> so because we're, we're near a fence, so it's perfect for pissing. But because like we're next to the main road and people are still arriving, you have to do it subtly. So I'm just here on my knees. Two things that that's not. Main, there's lots of them. And two, it's definitely not a road. What would you know about main, mate? As a sec as a supporting cast member, what would you know? I'm the main one. Right, we're just That's chilling. Right. We've been chilling all day, having a few beers. Listen to some Jonathan Mayer. Excuse my like excuse these um, Grealish cars. Here. And we keep, we keep <laughs> topping up. So yeah, we're just gonna enjoy ourselves and not really worry about the vlog and we'll probably catch up with you in a sec when one of us is in a state. We've been sat here, we've had a couple of drinks, but not too many, but drinks combined with glorious sunshine and great conversation, they soon catch up with you. So what we're doing is we're off down to Arena. We're gonna see what's got <coughs> what's going on there. Where's my roof, mysterious? I met some guy before and he was like, how did you get your COVID wristbands? Like, what's going on there kind of thing? Like, are you double vaccine? I said, yeah. He said, they're not putting that shit inside my skin. <laughs> So, so I said, okay, have a good festival, mate. I hate to admit this, but I'm 30 next year. And one of my bucket list things to do before I'm 30 is have a go on a tuba. And I'm not gonna ask, but there is one there. If you watch this and you've got a tuba and you're happy with me having a quick go on it, please let me know, because I would love I would love to have a go on a tuba. Thank you. Well, here we are inside the arena. A small milestone, admittedly, but a milestone nevertheless. What is it, Raz? You just said it. It is the UK's first 
Folk Capacity Festival. In Suffolk. There's a swimming hole, isn't there? Is there? Yeah, I think so. Inside or outside your mum's cash? Oh, shut up, bitch. <laughs> Now that is what you say is nice. This is very nice. Here. Oh, look at this stage here. Just out middle of water. There's too much going on. I'm like way out my depth. I don't know what I don't know what to do. I came here for food and already I forgot about it. Uh, food's over here. This is a mad vibe in here, isn't it? I reckon, I reckon, I reckon everyone here is nice. My chemical romance are That's also playing. That's not true, you're a cunt. I'll be here, friend. Right then, back on the road again. So it feels very much like a metropolitan kind of vibe in here, which is good. It's like the best of both worlds. You get to camp and you get to feel like you're in the middle of Sheffield City Centre at tram lines this weekend. Tram lines. Let's be having you. It's going to be good. It looks good. Right now, yeah, have that. I'll tell you what, tram lines is fucking lovely, and you should go next year if you can. Dizzy Dizzy Rascal will fucking ace. You're just a rascal. He's thinking best. That is thinking best. That is thinking best. That is that is thinking best. We're having a kebab. <laughs> Hiya. Yeah, yeah. Love a bit of garlic mayo. Hey, up here, what did you get? Well, here's what you could have had with the old falafel, satsiki falafel. Uh, Whoa, that looks dead. I'm fine. To be fair, though, for fest, that looks actually pretty fucking incredible. Looks sick. I mean, well, actually, I've, squ I've squashed it to hell, so it might not look very good, but. Why'd you get that? What do you mean? Well, oh, cause I'm not a murderer. Where? Yeah. Sorry? Where? What do you mean where? What do you mean you're not a murderer? I just don't eat meat. <laughs> do you know why? Because meat is murder. So would you is say that that's a good... a good option for a festival? Absolutely. Yeah? Perfect. So you'd recommend to the veggies and vegans? I would recommend, well... Hey, I'll tell you, you're also a vegetarian, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Melvin Ben. Yeah, true. He literally is. Oh, is he? Yeah, yeah. He knows what crackers. Right, down it stay then. Tuned for the, stay tuned for the review. Kebab was 8.50. <laughs> and it, I felt like I got my money's worth, to be honest. It was nice, that night. What? Nice kebab. It's fucking lovely to the bag. I'm saying, I feel like it's very good. It's it's like an almost perfect kebab. Fuck it out, mate. Do it. Unfortunately for me, this is just a bit too much. So I'm going to feel rude and waste quite a bit of it. But it's really good. What a great problem to have. Also, there's a squid place over there that's the same one from 2000 Trees and we always rave about 2000 Trees food. I reckon we'll try something different every time here. Aside from tonight when we'll have a kebab again in like six hours. I'm surprised um, just how many kids are here. And I know I'm opening myself up for a joke there, but there's a lot of kids here. And not just kids, but like raging all, like, at all ages, like loads of old people, Chris, wide spectrum of people. There is so much food here, it's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> Everything is food, which is not a bad thing. It's just so unusual, it's such a strange vibe for us. And it's Razzy's Round at the Welcome Bar. <laughs> It is very good up here. Very good. You do have to climb up a mountain range, but it's very good. But I think I need a couple more bevs in me before I can fully let myself loose in there because it's just a strange environment. 
Isn't it a weird environment? Like there's yeah, families so up there, like full there, families up there yeah. dancing. Yeah, yeah. Which is nice. It, yeah, well. it is lovely. nice, but it's lovely. It's, I don't know, it's a bit, it's just a bit unusual. Just want to find somewhere to dance to some actual music. I appreciate the incredible talent that it takes to create this music. But just put the original on. This is the third brass band I've seen. You, everything you've seen a polka dancer surrounded by a live orchestra on a boat, barge, whatever you want to call it, you haven't. I'll tell you how I know a good time. Bunch of pensioners sat on floor. What is funny is that looks more lively than the pits at Bullet for My Valentine at Download Pilot. And it literally does. What we've decided is that place in Woods is the best place to be. But we need to just get way more hammered. So we're off back to camp and we're gonna get this around us. We have to sneak them in. But that's fine, I'm a veteran. I'm never too old for that shit. So we're gonna do that and then we're gonna go back there and then hopefully that repetitive EDM will just keep us going till at least two in the morning. What's up, Raz? I seem to have a small ant farm gathering on my tent. An alien! It's, and it's really freaking me out, man. Oh, man. Any second, deck's gonna be here. <laughs> I hate that so much. You oh, have God. built your, your tent on an ant hill. Yeah, they're not in there, though. It's <sighs> going down to arena. What's this? Just around us. I'm gonna need that. Right, guess again. What? Right. Security. What's this? Look at it. Right, he passed the test. You pissed? <laughs> yes, of course I am. Well, I don't think you are pissed. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, in the words of Fancy Monkeys, that's where you're wrong. Because I didn't want to bring it up, especially in front of you. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 go on then. But I hadn't heard you do a whoop there it is <laughs> all night. <laughs> I hadn't heard you do a whoop. <laughs> I ain't heard you do a whoop, there it is. I certainly ain't heard you do a Harry Maguire. So what's going on, I haven't heard you do one either. Until just right then. So, <laughs> so he's yeah. already lying. Chris, when we're down there, I want to hear you fucking belting out three lions real loud. Okay, well, that's a, that is a promise that will happen on camera tonight. <laughs> it's a cider in that you've still got a way back in. I just don't think they're going to entertain you getting that past the checkpoint because that's not how it works at any festival. Rob, do me a favour. I've had this drink, would you believe it, for a while. You are. Look at the dirt in the bottom of that cup. That's the water. Mine did that as well. Like, that's... Mine did that, and I, I, didn't, I didn't have mine for I long. I can't drink that. <laughs> we'll, <laughs> we'll never... Oh, oh right, well, that's why we that's, 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 that's a really good point, actually, that we have thought through. Yeah, that's why I'm doing the pre-test now. <laughs> Chris Poulton thought he were Captain Big Dick by just coming in with a... With a pint, and now uh, and saying, oh, "I bought it in there," and he has to finish it now. So he stood at the fucking gate finishing it. You know what the jokes on me? It seems. Um, have you ever been to a fucking festival before, mate? It's better than we thought. It's, it's, oh, it's, you know what? It's, it's getting a bit better, I guess. Don't listen to this. But it's getting better. Drink some of your drink, then, mate. I am all the time. Fuck off. Woo! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> to any club and heard this, or if anyone did, I'm sure there's like, th this, th everything that's going on right now is like a DJ set for people who don't really like music. Well, we're leaving the tree place. <laughs> that's what and call it. do you know what? It ended up being pretty good. It ended up being pretty good. We're walking back to campsite. So far, latitude is neutral. Do you know what it is? Neutral. It's neutral. Would I rather be at home? Absolute, <laughs> absolutely not. Absolutely not. No. 
but we've got to be real with it, haven't we? Don't we went to download? Well, amazing. Know. Went to Sefton, amazing. Latitude, in terms of uh, in terms of what we like. Yeah, it's neutral so far. Do you not see it in Canal Village? These boys have only come for a silent disco and it's not here yet. Just give it a day and then... No, we haven't come for a silent disco because I'm sick to death at silent disco. <laughs> All I'm saying is... Just remember that two of these lads who give a very honest opinion have been out on a fucking massive bender two nights praying. Am I actually going to have to go to the car to get some water? I think tonight was pretty good. I think it was pretty good. And the bands haven't even started, so we'll see you tomorrow. How would you sleep, Chris? Okay. It was fine, actually. I slept pretty well in there to say that I don't have a quilt or a pillow. <laughs> I think last night ended up pretty good, but I can't really remember. I'd say so, yeah. I think it was just a lack of diversion on the entertainment front, I think it was. Today, bands are on, so... And we're going to try and have a shower. Good afternoon, sir. Good morning. You're going to use all that towel? <laughs> Showers are great. Loads of room. Like, literally, like, a good amount of room in here. The issue is there's no shower gel. But if you brought your own, it's all good. I haven't, but in some loose some. How are you feeling after the shower, mate? Not better in the front. Mm. Nice to get the... Um, Sun cream after that. <laughs> Sun cream straight back horrible, on. isn't it? Yeah. I don't think I'm going to put any more on today. The issue is I'm actually quite sunburnt. You can't tell, but I'm actually quite sunburnt already. You nice and dry down there? <laughs> no, mm, <laughs> soaking wet. Good shower. Mm. Shit, I like water everywhere. Yeah, you know, it is a shower. My bag's <laughs> Can you tell me about your Chris Poulton? Sorry. Well, it just says on there. Ask about softies. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to see one of the best ideas I've ever fucking seen in my life? Literally, go, go and get your vaccine. No, it's a smart move. That. If you're here for a day, that's a smart move. I have to wait till 4th of August to get mine. If you're here for a day and don't mind the extra hangover tomorrow, that's excellent. I'm really pleased to see that. That's one of the best things I've ever seen at a festival. Food here does generally seem like really nice, and premium. But what we've decided to do is just come back to the same place as yesterday. It's a safe bet, so risk-free really. But food's one of the high points. What we got? It's a mixed veg paella. Lemon's one of my favourite veg. So this is quite cool. We've got these seat things, seats, seat area, and you can seat just sit here um, and look at the main stage, which is quite cool. I don't know if there's a certain access level you need, but we didn't really get checked. We just rocked in, didn't we? And so I imagine everyone else can as well. Pretty chill. If you want to just watch ahead, like, you know, download, sometimes we take the chairs to watch like a boring band like Black Sabbath. So it'd be good for bands like Black Sabbath. After listening to my first Wolf Alice song, just call me Shania Twain, because oh, that don't impress go. me much. <sighs> Festival toilet review time, bitch! It's actually a model of port cabin that I've never seen before, and it's a good cross between legitimate toilet and a port cabin. They come in units of six, and each each trailer's got six on. Is that the bog roll? No, actually, the bog roll's down here. So we even got a separate thing going on here. I even hung my coat up because it's like kind of premium. And there's a big old mirror here so I can see my sunburnt to fuck face. You know how we do when we have a sit down piss at a festival? We, we got the lovely vodka orange on the, on the side table just there. Don't you worry, pal. The water on the floor is a bit concerning though. Here's an observation, and I guess it's weather dependent, but the air is so dusty, I almost wish you had to wear a mask. <laughs> See, you know, do you get why I wore one in, in uh, 2019 to Leeds Festival? That was genuinely one of the reasons why. I thought, oh yeah, going through Piccadilly, it's going to be like fucking horrible. So I shoved it on. Didn't realise I'd be wearing one for the next two years. He was, yeah. Hey, Chuck! 
Chucky, it's your cousin, Marvin. Marvin Mabel. You know that new sound you've been looking for? Well, listen to this. That's funny. You already know what it is. Chippies. You get, you get. You know what? Excellent shout. They save the exact purpose they need to right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sustenance, you know. Yeah, very good. Here's something cool. So uh, this festival is sponsored by this company called Trunch Cinch. Cinch. So Trunch, they're a car company or something, and <laughs> they've got these viewing platforms. And you don't need like normally there might be like a Barclay Card area where you have to like have it be a Barclay Card customer. Here, you just you don't you can just come up if you want and look at the view. It's fucking class. <laughs> It's quite a strange looking, I thought, on paper for an event like that, but they're really, really, really good. And the crowd are going sick, and it seems to be very, very good vibes only. Right, this is what I'm talking about. Everyone said that the Friday is when it kicks off. Here we go. Very, very good. One pound fish. Have a, have a look. Have a, have a look. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> beer for you. <laughs> beer for me. I'm so fucking tired that this is somewhere oh, else. You're what? You're getting on there. But if you only go to bed, that's fine. <laughs> kid just in that tree and as the security were walking over <laughs> he said he said don't, don't pull, pull him, him don't pull him thankfully the security guy wasn't looking for a shag Razzy has got the energy in him tonight and he wants to stay out so he's dragged us here to other venue and it's a million times better than last night but no, as soon as I got here they're playing my least favorite song ever made so I'm gonna fuck off and, and Chris is also going to follow suit because he's a pussy old. And then it's just me on my own. So brilliant. Have a good well, night, Razza. Yeah. Now you know how we felt without you this morning <laughs> when you were lazing in yeah, bed. Yeah, because I was sleeping, preparing for night out. <laughs> preparing for what night out, mate? Oh, what? So, sorry, does the night out begin at 10 a.m.? <laughs> good night. Wolf we'll Alice and Bowie. Good night. Good night, Chris. Good night, Robert. Good night. Margaret. Chris, come on, man. It's just going to say, we're going to be really up shit for the time if it starts raining because we have between us a hoodie and a denim jacket, I believe. And that's it. Oh, my throat is fucking killing. So because it's day three now, your lateral flow test only covers you for 72 hours. So you get a box, they're just free to grab. You got to do another test today just to verify that you uh, still don't have COVID. I was saying to Chris, I'm kind of hopeful I do because I'm knackered and I won't mind going up. This is quality, this. Incredibly. <laughs> Incredibly. <laughs> <laughs> Very well organised. <clears throat> oh, good lord. Right, let's see what and this what test really is saying. What's really funny is if someone here had had did test positive in front of everyone. And we're all just like, okay, off we go. A big problem with every festival <coughs> is, in a nice way, the staff. I feel like every member of staff is briefed by like maybe a different manager and no one knows what is actually going on. And that always ranges from the gate attendants <clears throat> to the fucking parking attendants. And the COVID thing there was a shambles. So it got completely, bo we, we left the camp and got told, if you're coming back in, you need to do your test. So it was like, cool, we'll go have a shower, do a test there, come back in. And then we got to a second checkpoint and they were like, right, you can't come into this bit. 
unless you've got your negative test. So we were in a limbo between campsite and showers. Thankfully, they do provide lateral flow tests. But the guy on security, who I don't envy his job today, he's got a really hard job, was making everyone that's double jab retest. And someone else changes over on the shift, goes, oh, anyone that's double jab doesn't need to retest. So all people uh, who were double jab that just had to do fucking lateral flow, just wasted the lateral flows and had an unpleasant experience. Again, no one's fault, really. Maybe just send out a communal message to everyone when you're telling them how it's working. This is what you call just total body rejection. Um, <coughs> I've just had enough. My anxiety's through the roof. My throat hurts. Two nights in Leadmill, three nights at festival. I just don't have it in me anymore. I think we're going to genuinely consider retiring at 30. I really do. I'm not just. Fisherman. Right, so here's the problem with this festival. There's a lad over there that Chris won't show you. That's like crouched down on his knees, pissing <coughs> right out of his cock. And Chris is sat there looking directly into his third eye. And this is the fucking problem. Like, I got told off yesterday for having a piss in a bu bush behind like that fucking platform that we were stood on. Where's the fucking rock and roll, man? Where's the rock and roll lifestyle and attitude around here? Fucking nowhere, just me. Fuck you. Good morning. You're not gonna believe this. <laughs> He's only gone for a fucking nap. <laughs> right, so after spending. Oh, good to have you back. Oh, he's up, is he? Yeah. How long? Back. I did barely slept. Uh, we, we just watched fucking <laughs> Back to the Future trilogy back here. Oh, sheesh. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go get some food because I haven't fucking eaten anything. Chris says food will definitely make me feel good, so cheers, mate. Bloody Danny White's wet dream over there, fucking quite a three-man pop-up tent. Just the one, two, three, four, five, six of them. You know what that is? 18 what? man in a pop-up. <laughs> it's true. Now for the, for the quiz of the day, do you think they ordered them all at once on Amazon? Or do you think everyone went individually to go outdoors and got one? Let me know down in the comments downstairs. Just sitting in car because I can't get back to camp because these guys have decided I need the NHS text, which is probably the right way to be fair to them. But it why is, did why, it, why is stuff. everyone telling you a different thing? I had the test on me. I don't mind doing the test. I offered to do another test in front of them. Yeah. <clears throat> Wait, what? Just guys, tell yeah. them. Just everyone get it consistent. These guys are probably the only ones who've got it right. Yeah, true, <coughs> true, actually. We've had some bad ones, haven't we? Mm. The one down there said you don't even need to do one if you'd been double vaccinated. So, Stupid. You know. I am so shattered. <laughs> For the rest of tonight, you're going to see a bit of rudimental, a bit of Chemical Brothers, and then me getting into bed. Oh. Rudimental were really good. They've actually boosted my spirit a bit. It was nice to see. Such great talent. I thought they were class. And they did Ed Sheeran cover. And I love Ed Sheeran. Now we're just sat down for um, Chemical Brothers in the nice seated area. Pretty cool. So the Chemical Brothers are on. And to match their ridiculous light show, it started lightning in. So we all have to leave these metal, metal chairs.
That was fucking excellent. That was very good. I was just saying to them boys, I've ne very rare do you see a band that you've never even heard one song of, pretty much, and they keep you entertained for 90 minutes. That was brilliant. Good brothers. Probably one of the best things I've seen in years, actually, that, without, without any question. It's really kind of, I thought today was such a write-off. Yeah, that's and it, kind it of... really has just, because you remember, like, the last thing of the day, and we're off to bed now, right? <laughs> Morning. It's Sunday. The last day. What well, I'd advise for the slightly older viewers, like like me, not you young whippersnappers, you little 18 year olds. When you're at a festival, and I've done this for the last couple of years, it's always good to have one day where you just don't get hammered and don't stay up till four in the morning. I know it's not that rock and roll, but it's so worth it because I feel like 80% better than yesterday um, just because I didn't have any beers and I got to bed for like half past midnight. It's really worth it if you're a frail old man like Chris. So I lose my Ray-Ban Wayfarers all the time. Which is why I've been wearing fake ones all weekend. I went to my mum's to grab some other glasses because I wanted to wear some different glasses. I found these, right? So these are some aviators. And this is like a bit heartbreaking, but a bit wholesome as well. So these are my dad's, right? And they're, they're not really my style. But I can I can make them work. They're all right. But what's inside the thing? What was he keeping inside the thing that I never knew about? It's our status quo ticket from when we went to see status quo. How nice is that? I bought him that for his birthday. And it was one of the very few times I've seen him get, like, emotional. And it's in there. Nice that, isn't it? Cheers, Dad. <laughs> I have to film from this angle because I'm charging in my pocket. But we just want to reiterate how fucking excellent the Chemical Brothers were last night, man. Without question, the best act I've seen in years. The best Blew light show I've ever seen. Blew me away. Truly captivating from start to finish. And to top it off, because we didn't drink, I feel pretty fucking good. My mood has been sent through the sky today. And it's not with the aid of any chemicals. So I'm too old for that. Oh, it is, in fact. A couple of brothers. <laughs> oh, and one Barocca's. This is close to my idea of a, of a perfect festival morning. Yeah. Woke up, feeling good, drinking a nice iced coffee, about to go have a squid. This is, this is it now. This is good, this is lovely. And because today is probably gonna carry that energy on until we have to go home, the opinion of the whole festival is probably gonna shift slightly from a completely not for us to maybe we really would consider coming again yeah, if sure. the lineup sure. was, was a bit better, a bit more to our taste. Let's drink these coffees. That's it. That's it, that's it. So you've heard us gone about 2,000 trees a million times. And one of our favorite things there is the squid. So the squid's here at download, not download, latitude. So it's, it's all good. That was fucking delicious. Absolutely delicious. Aided by the sriracha, no doubt. Absolutely. But incredible. 10 out of 10, that. Waiting for Bill Bailey. Gonna be funny, maybe? I hope so. You just sit down. I don't know, I've got this. God. Bill Bailey. Taking piss out of Boris Johnson in a field with 40,000 Tories. <laughs> Present company included. <laughs> most wholesome and enjoyable mornings I've ever had at a festival and it might be the juxtaposition of how shit we felt yesterday but it is um, that I've had a great morning and that woman was giving me such a fucking evil and coming off because <laughs> I was talking to the camera but what a great morning that was eh Razzie don't know I wonder what Razzie's been doing eh I can hazard a guess sweet fuck all <laughs> To say there was a thunderstorm warning, we've done pretty well so far. It's red hot today. A little bit of lightning and a tiny bit of rain last night, but 
absolutely nothing to be concerned about. I'm not even wearing socks. So I just come through the same checkpoint that I couldn't get through last night. Different entry requirements again. This time I just need the wristband. Just make it consistent for the love of God. Razzy, how's well, your morning been? Uh, quite nice. I, I woke up, dying for a piss, pissed in a bottle in my tent. Uh, did that did that end of a festival thing where you just rip the thing out of your airbed. Uh, and just, ooh. Uh, Sounds like a Chemical Brothers effect, that, doesn't it? Uh, went for a shower, stood in line for a good half an hour, just did fuck all and stared at my phone, even though there was no <laughs> It's annoying, isn't it? Um, had a lovely warm shower that was so warm and got like mud all over the bottom of my fucking trousers because everyone's been to swimming all today, aren't they? Mm. So they've all been coming back yeah, in for a shower. Right. Look, look really good actually that today. Did. We'd like to have done it in another world. But... Uh, sat down, had a sausage sandwich and oh. a iced caramel latte oh. where, where all of the caramel was just at the bottom. That's kind of good though, you can dip the straw in, I guess. Yeah. I also had an iced caramel, it was my very first one actually, ever. Iced yeah. coffee. Yeah, ever. it was lovely. I might get another. Right, so for many reasons really, but couple of key reasons we have to go home on the, like today on the Sunday, which is fine really. We're going to get to see Rick Astley. We are going to miss the Kaiser Chiefs, I think, which is a shame, but it's all good. It's all in the name of a good cause. So packing everything down, super convenient. Have a look at that campsite, eh? Is that clean or what? One bag of rubbish for all weekend, all packed away. No mess Lovely. left. I think it's probably the cleanest camp we've ever had in. Campsite, best it is. History. We were planning on doing this at Leeds Fest, but obviously you saw what happened there with the old security trashing everything. Lovely. So just know that when we when we set out to do it, we can do it, and it's the right thing to do. Uh, enough preaching. How hot is it today? Do we not? About this hot. Uh, Twenty-one. It's no uh, community festival London hotel room, but it sure is hot. I need some sugar and there's a nice gourmet confectionery spot over here so I'm going to go buy some of the most elite sweets possible, the blue and pink fizzy bottles. I might have got this wrong but I think that ran me 1750. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> we'll see when the Monzo he comes down. I actually felt my skin like actually burning. I can't overstate just how much I'm enjoying today. Like the sun's out. I'm on a I'm on a real I just feel really positive, like total contrast to the last few days and I'm, I'm just, it's just a really good mood, a really good vibe, and I really appreciate being here today. Um, it was any moans have just been worth it just for just for this nice feeling. Big up, light tune, very, very good. Right, here we go, walking towards the blistering eight to see the last act of the weekend for us, Sunday home oh. commuters. What? Is it not if you want to come back? Yeah. It is. Do you want to go back? Nah, not it's alright. It's alright. Joe, we can hear it from here. It's alright if you want to go back. Yeah. Rob, give me a call as quick as you can. We're no strangers to love. You know the rules. So to recap, this day has saved it for me. I've really enjoyed today. And over the last couple of days, mostly for our own reasons and 
some other reasons as well. I'm not really enjoying it that much. If you'd have asked me yesterday, I'd have probably said I'd rather have been at home. But after today, I'd say quite the opposite. I think in, in review, latitude is for these kinds of people and not really geared towards the exact thing that we like. But that's fine because I think we're the minority. And that's it now for live music for two weeks. And we'll see you at Bloodstock. Goodbye. It'll be awful to drive over. Orange Corsa. It's sure been a weekend that's happened. Oh, this is it. It has. I can confirm you it. You can't has been that. doubt that. It has, it has been. been. It's been lovely to spend yeah, pleasure. a few always. days with you. I look forward to seeing you, if not before, at Reading and Leeds. Yes. Take care, mate. Only love. This might be the warmest car I've ever sat in. No, I've been in it many times like this before, unfortunately. <laughs> Still this car, though. Yeah, sure. All right, we're going. See ya. Bye-bye. Our merch is still available over at tpd.tv. You've got three days left to get some and then it's never going to be available ever again. We've got t-shirts, we've got hoodies and we've just added a brand new Leeds Festival Piccadilly box logo t-shirt that you are only going to be able to get for the next couple of days. So thanks so much for the support. We really love it. Support the channel and get something in return.